Good afternoon. My name is Todd Wergens. I am a Applications Engineer for Computer Aided Technologies, and we're going to take a look at uh, a solution to an issue that I saw on support yesterday. Um, customer called in. He was looking at a drawing, and we're going to look at a drawing shortly here, but it was of a very kind of similar type assembly, a flywheel with some O-rings underneath it. So if we kind of take a look at what we have here, yes, there's some O-rings underneath here. So, And then uh, these are all toolbox items, mind you. So series of bolts and, of course, just for fun, thrust washer or thrust thrust bearing. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that stuff back on. And we're going to go back over to the drawing here. We're going to take a look at the drawing. So <clears throat> at the drawing level, um, here's exactly what the customer had. He had a section line running through his whole part. And his question was, when we went to the section AA or the section, why does it not cut through my O-rings, in particular, that was his big question. He had a couple O-rings in here. He's like, I, I brought them in from the toolbox. I go, why can't I see them? Um, and I have illustrated it here with a couple of broken out details as well. So if we go back down the O-ring, you can see that they are not sectioned. So we're going to go back to the, the section here. <clears throat> and we're going to hit the properties of this section. So it's either from the right click inside the properties or same place <clears throat> if we drill down in our property manager on the left hand side we can get the more properties we are going to go to section scope this is what we found uh, exclude fasteners was was checked on so what does that mean well that means really not just fasteners anything that comes from the toolbox so if we uncheck this box, you're going to see immediate results. As soon as I say OK, everything that I asked to be cut, I guess just like I'm deciding here, if I come back down here, now you'll see that my O-rings are, yes, indeed, cut, as well as my bearing. Um, so I guess the bigger question is, is how do we keep from cutting the fasteners, or maybe we don't want to show the fasteners on here at all. That's kind of another process here. We can actually hit the more properties, and we could actually tell it that we didn't want this one or this one sectioned. So if we said OK, yes, those would not be sectioned. But maybe we just don't want them in the section view at all. So I'm going to come into the section scope. I'm going to clear these selections. Make sure this is cleared as well. Say OK. So they're going to come back. And then we're going to come back in here. And we're going to go to Hide Show Components. And we're just going to pick these graphically to not be shown in the section view. And when we say Apply, we get kind of what we want, which is a, a section view through the shaft and the hole, the clearance hole, and the tapped hole as well. As both the O-rings and the bearing. So little tip, um, hopefully maybe this can help somebody out. Um, again, my name is Todd Wergens, um, and thanks.